West Ham Fan TV outside the London Stadium. West Ham nil, Zagreb 1. Um, mate, this is your moment. What's your thoughts on the game? I thought there was just a few players on that pitch that should have been dragged off um, after half time. It was, um, like it says Yarmolenko, man. He got worse and worse in the game, man. Along, he had nothing about him. He had nothing about him, man. You know, we can't complain because we're through and we're through. And um, like Barcelona fans thinking, we're fucking coming for you, mate. Do you, do you feel that um, the senior players that started today sort of let down the younger players a little bit? Uh, yeah, but um, I mean, you can't expect some of the some of the youngsters to hit the ground running at the start because yeah, they're playing on a full crowd. In you know, again, the other player, the other team got senior players as well. Um, but I was impressed with Harrison Ashby. Yeah, uh, he was I think left back or right back, but he was putting some good tackles in, and he was sort of driving the team forward. And he gave himself so much space that like Yarmolenko or Four now should have squared it to him like a hundred times. Like, I think decision making in the in the attacking areas, it, yeah. it's got to improve. You can tell why Yarmolenko is not in the starting lineup and Ben Antonio is. I mean, the thing is with tonight, I mean, Zagreb had something to play for. We didn't. We've already won the group, so it was it was always going to be tough to get 11 players that have not played together before uh, hit the ground running straight from the kickoff. I think, to be honest, I think I expected some of the youngsters just to play with no pressure to feel like, right, we've got, we've got nothing to lose. We're just going to go now and give in it all. And I'm not going to blame them too much, but some of them didn't show much of that. I expected a bit more of that. I, I did. I expected more, a bit more of that. And um, but if we're, if we're through to the knockouts and we beat Chelsea, then no, we, sh we shouldn't we shouldn't complain about this game too much because we've got so much to look forward to. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, if we had if we had to win the game tonight, it'd have been a totally different team out there, a totally different atmosphere. It was a bit flat on the pitch, off the pitch. But look, we've we're through. We're in the last 16, we miss around now, so we've got a nice little break. Yeah, but this, I think the first game in the last 16 will be a massive game for us because mm. most of these games are like training yeah. training matches. But last 16, it won't be training and we're going to play properly. You know, it's going to be a test for us. Yeah. We're going to put some of our first team, we're going to see. And injuries are catching up with us. We're going in December now where games are coming thick and fast. And like, you know, David Moyes, I know he's doing really well at the club, but. He's got a little bit of pressure on him, you know, because so many games, he's got so many injuries, and now he needs to choose who we get in January, and in how many weeks are these, like, Ogbonna and Zuma are going to come back, because we need them desperately. Yeah, we need yeah them I, desperately. Think, I think Ogbonna is out for the season. Zuma might be sort of like six to eight weeks, but yeah, look, the, tra tra the transfer win is just around the corner, so we can get through the next few games and keep the good, good run going, mate. But listen, thank you so much for joining us, mate.